If you have a Chevrolet Equinox from 2005 to 2009, you're going to realize that the tweeters and the speaker system are not very good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the tweeters in your Chevy Equinox with these JBL Club tweeters. These normally run around $99. You can catch them on sale for $79.99. Now as far as best bang for the buck, that's what these tweeters are. You can get better ones, but you're going to have to spend close to $200. For under $100, you just can't buy a better tweeter. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to install these. Open the door and you're going to take a trim tool like this plastic trim tool. You can get right behind the tweeter cover right here and you're just going to pry out. And that's going to reveal the tweeter right there. We're just going to unhook the wires and then we can start to disassemble the factory tweeter. And what we're going to do is just pull straight up from this plug. Now that we're disconnected, we can take this inside and start to work on it. In order to remove this tweeter, you're going to have two, what's going to look like kind of like glue dots. You're going to take some cutters like this. I've already got this one removed. You'll see the little glue area here and here. You're just going to go along the side and you're just going to kind of snip it like that. And then you'll notice that this tweeter will pop right out. So with this particular mount, I think I may cut this out and then I'll be installing this insert. This is threaded, so it's going to hold it here on the back side. The only thing I don't like is once this is kind of flush mounted here, the tweeter is going to protrude maybe about a quarter of an inch. The only other thing I could do is maybe glue it in. I don't like doing that because sometimes they'll break loose and I don't want to get any glue right on the front of the speaker. So I'm probably going to cut this out and mount it that way. So now as you can see I have the perforation cut out. I have this fitting mounted in place. This is going to go inside and that's going to allow the tweeter to be adjustable. Now I have the tweeter fully mounted in the molding and what I used is this front piece right here which is that right there and then I have this swivel mount so I can direct the tweeter right up towards my ear and then you have this large nut on the back. There's what it looks like up close and there's what it looks like in the back. So you do have some ribs right here you need to grind out. Um, I have a little electric dynophile that I'll put a link in the description to that I use that tool. All different kinds of uses around the house for. And it's kind of like a finger file. So you just get in there and grind that out of your way. As you can see this is attached with a large nut there. You have a small nut there for your pivot point. It's not going to go anywhere. It's permanently mounted now. What the finger sander looks like. It's nice and thin. It's only about a half inch wide both ways. You can kind of see why it's called a finger sander. It just plugs into a normal household outlet. I'll put a link in the description below on how to buy one of these. I use it all over the house, different projects. But that's what I use to get down inside there, grind those three little plastic tabs off. So now we need to connect our frequency filter. And we're going to connect it right here, positive to positive, negative to negative. And then on this end here, that's going to connect to our old car stereo wiring. Here's all the wiring for the tweeters are left front positive tan, left front negative is a gray, and the same thing on the passenger side. Right front positive is tan, right front negative is gray. So now you need to cut off that factory speaker plug and you're going to strip down the bare wire so we can make our connections. Connections made, you're going to have to tuck a lot of that wire inside there. Just to make sure you're not pinching it when you go to put this back on. what the finished product looks like. Me left right. So the driver's side is totally mounted. We just played a song. It works perfect. I can tell already it sounds much better from the factory. So now let's go ahead and do that passenger side. I've got the tweeter installed exact same way. Got it pointed towards the passenger. Got my nut on here, it's held in place. I'm gonna put a little bit of black tape on here and here 
just to prevent this from ever coming apart, although I don't think it ever will, just for a little bit of safety in mind. And then we'll go ahead and install. Probably one of the hardest parts is this right here, is tucking all the wire in place so none of it gets pinched or sticks out. Now the passenger side is done. Alright, so I'm just going to give you a view of the final product. Right there is the driver's side. Let me come over here and you'll see the passenger side. That's how you install the JBL Club 194T tweeters in your Equinox. Now it should work for about 2005 to 2009 Equinoxes. It should also work for Torrents. Now, like I said, you can find better tweeters, but you're going to pay a lot more money. These are the best bang for the buck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.